Hey everyone, today I'm here to just give a quick update on my health because you know for the last days I haven't been able to upload and then for the next days I, I probably won't be able to upload either and it's because well what's been happening is that in like August and September I was taking a high dosage of like all these drugs and medicines and I, I did feel like like I was getting better like it was helping and then suddenly in the last month October I started getting worse a bunch of symptoms from the disease started happening like i'll just look i'll tell you what symptoms i'm going through so first of all my hands are very fragile and they burn when i like grab something so i kind of like grab things now with my palm of my hands like this like even just grabbing my phone hurts so yeah like if, if i grab this water bottle i kind of now instinctively grab it like this like without the fingers and just mostly my palm so i, I i'm kind of getting like used to that right now because if, if i use like the tip of my fingers to grab something it it hurts and it burns they're like i don't know if you can see on the camera but they're kind of like purple and oh, I, I put band-aids there's like these there's like blood inside on these on these two fingers and they like i don't know it's it starts becoming red and then they turn hard and then they hurt and then where i have band-aids i have like a hole it's kind of weird it's like like a little hole and it's hard but yeah and then i have like on my elbows as well you know they're like purple and the skin peels off so it kind of hurts if i like i need to stretch my arms slowly and then of course my, my muscles like still freaking hurt not as bad as months ago but it's kind of annoying that like I can't even make a fist or that when I move my feet, you know, like the fingers kind of hurt. And then my knees also like I, it hurts when I bend them. Oh, and then on on these two knuckles, like here and here, uh, like a hole appeared again. But the one here, it's like it's so big. They told me that it's going to take like six months to close because it's like a little hole. I actually think you can see the finger bone because you can see like the white line it's it's pretty disgusting <laughs> but i mean those things do heal you know with a little bit of medicine but yeah they take months because the whole like literally has to slowly so slowly close and apparently that that takes a while also i i need to use sunscreen if i don't you know these things are just gonna stay there and then on my face i get this like this like butterfly shaped rash all over here and then on my forehead so like my skin turns red and uh, the skin starts peeling but with just by using sunscreen i think i can prevent that now for the past week because i wasn't feeling well i stopped using sunscreen so it's it's kind of coming back so yeah now, now i see how important sunscreen is so yeah that's that's for because of the disease i have but the doctors told me i'm also suffering right now because i've just been doing nothing but laying down all year and there were a couple things I didn't know. So when you're bedridden, they're supposed to put something under your legs so your feet stay floating because otherwise your your ankle is just hitting on the bed and apparently ankles aren't designed to have pressure on them. So my ankles have like this huge bruise with a, a hole on it. They're called pressure ulcers. And I've had that for like over a month and they, it's been hurting a lot. But, you know, also I have bruises on my feet, on like the fingers and the sides. I don't know if those are also because of pressure or just the disease. But yeah, my feet, they just freaking hurt. And then this is the worst part. Uh, since since my disease causes muscle inflammation and I just lay down all day, apparently I hurt this nerve that goes like all the way from, from my butt all the way to the foot. <laughs> And every time I try to move my leg, it like, it feels like this shock going through my, my entire leg. So yeah, it's, it's real painful. So I try to not move my leg, but like when I go to the bathroom or something like that, I just, I just need to fight through it. And then what sucks is the one day where the pain was like the worst, I had to travel to another city to see doctors. And my goodness, it was just, it was so painful and i have a wheelchair but like i don't like making my mom uh, push me on the wheelchair a lot because uh, i mean I, she already has to do so much for me and then uh she she does get tired 
pushing me on the wheelchair and I mean obviously I, I feel real bad <laughs> I don't want her to get hurt or anything so I I just tried walking as much as I could that day I was walking very very slowly and every step was just so painful but I mean I, I survived that day so now like these past days that I'm home they don't feel as bad so I guess something good came out of it it's like yeah you know it really freaking hurts but at least it wasn't like that one day oh also i don't know if it's the medicine or the disease but i i like constantly feel like i have phlegm in my throat so if you hear my voice a little weird that's because the other day i tried coughing a lot to see if phlegm came out but no nah, I, I think it's just like i don't know it could be the medicine or it could be the disease affecting the, the throat muscles i i can still eat normally and everything it's just it's annoying you know it's like I, I always feel like i have something in my throat now there is one thing i have improved like sanely improved and that's my lungs which is good because that's the most dangerous part of this disease so i started using this device called the breather it's to exercise lung muscles and oh it it works so well like in one month of using that my lungs have gotten so much better I don't get as tired or anything anymore. I still can't do like running or anything like that, but well, I, I can probably walk for quite a bit now, but I don't know because of, you know, the the pressure ulcers on my foot and right now the, the nerve that I damaged, you know, if those things weren't there, I would be able to like walk every day for like to exercise, maybe walk for a couple minutes. And that would help me so much because my muscles, of course, are weak since I'm just laying down all year. But yeah, I just, I just have to wait until until my feet get better and for this leg to get better as well. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been going through. And oh, I, I didn't even mention this, but the reason that symptoms from the disease are like coming back and getting stronger is because they're trying to reduce my medicine and they say it's like a drug there's there's withdrawal effects so yeah that's that's why but i i hope they start going away because <laughs> you know in the past the, the the symptoms were not this bad I, the fact that there's like so many holes coming out on my hand and stuff like that it's again it's it's just like annoying like all these things that i have to do just to grab things i can't even open water bottles by the way that's why i have it open i Tell my mom to open it first and I just leave it like that. If I want to watch TV, you know, just pressing the buttons. Like, it's just a little annoying stuff like that. And yeah, you know, I'm trying not to show how freaking annoying and sometimes pressing it is. But because, I mean, of course, I do get frustrated every once in a while. But I, it, it passes. Mo most of the time, I just, I act like I don't care, which... Most of the time, I don't. I, I already went through this with the thyroid cancer years ago. So, you know, I, I already went through one freaking chronic illness. And then, you know, I was a lot more like sad and depressed and would say stuff like, like, why does it happen to me? But honestly, not, even though this is like a lot, a lot worse, I am a little bit more, I don't know, positive. I, 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 don't, I don't know if positive is the word. I think more like, like just don't care. Maybe I even find it like a little bit funny. Like, wow, my body is trash. <laughs> I'm just grateful. Like I'm not dying from this stuff. I mean, as long as I'm here for the BTS comeback, if I can even get tickets, <laughs> but if not, you know, they're, they're probably gonna, gonna show it on some documentary or something. That's, that's good enough. I just, I just want to go through that BTS comeback. And well, very good thing, the government will help me out quite a lot they they accepted my my disability so when i can you know i'll be doing physical therapy for free also being disabled in mexico means that you know i get to, i get a couple discounts in some places also i can get the the disabled parking thing so that i don't have to walk as much when i go to the places and they give a little bit of money it's like minimum wage in Mexico is like uh, like $400 a month and for being disabled they give 70 a month but it's better than nothing because they they're going to be able to give me my medicines I just have to be seeing like the healthcare doctor and yo the medicine 
I take is like crazy expensive eh? because right now I'm, I'm like I'm taking a lot of medicine like like I don't even know how many pills I have a box just for all the medicine and then throughout the day I'm like just taking a lot but yeah you know slowly they're gonna be reducing that taking away and I think afterwards with the disease I only take like one or maybe two pills every day the annoying thing is though because I had thyroid cancer I already take two pills every day for the rest of my life and now there's probably gonna be like two more because of this, this disease like i said you know li little annoying things like those and then every year there's another super annoying thing i have to get this super expensive injection just to make sure that the disease doesn't come back and like get real real bad and that that injection you have to go to a hospital you have to stay there for like all day and then in two weeks you have to get another dosage and so many annoying little things they just add up but uh, apparently the healthcare does give that injection it's like over a it's like like a thousand five hundred dollars and then of course you have to pay a doctor or a hospital to to let you stay there but yeah I'm, I'm saving a lot of money with that but yeah that is like that is the full update of what I, i'm going through and at this point it's just having to wait but yeah that that was the update and you know thanks everyone for the comments that you leave and honestly you know i'm i'm doing my best to stay fine mentally i ain't gonna lie it's hard but i i got no other choice i i, I just i can't get too upset or depressed because it'll obviously worry my family saying that kind of makes me want to cry so i'm ending the video <laughs>